Um, this is me on the way to the date. I have to do my makeup in the car. Hey, are we driving or are we watching video? I thought we was driving. It's kind of trifling. I got my seatbelt on and got your seatbelt on. Here, we gotta put a seatbelt on. We're gonna drive. Okay, ready? Press this button. Wow, you started the car up. Okay, now we got to do the parking brake. Ready? Turn the wheel. Are you gonna drive? What? Keep your hands on the wheel if you're gonna drive. You can't let go of the wheel. Jackson. <laughs> and you still trying to watch the video, Jackson? <laughs> you better fail driving school. Good job driving. Thank you so much. Now get in your seat. How messed up is it that I share my body with this boy and he won't even give me a chicken nugget? Like one funky ass chicken nugget. Can I have one? Please. I'm so hungry. Daddy. Ain't no damn sorry. I'm finna cry. He don't even eat the whole chicken nugget. He just eat the crunchy parts off of it. And so I don't see why you can't give me the part that you don't even want. Anyway, I got olive oil. I wanted me a little salad, okay? I should've got me a little soup too. But I wanted me salad and some shrimp tortellini pasta. So that's what I'm getting. I have had the longest, most hardest draining day today. Like, I really like today was a roller coaster. Like, I really had to survive today, okay? The way we're gonna end it is that I'm gonna get Jax's little Grinch plate and we're gonna try these crumble cookies today. Um, so I'm just gonna cut me some little like triangle pieces out of them. And then this is some cornbread bullshit. What the hell on my lip? Oh, got a little. Oh man, I forgot I had a Chick-fil-A cookie in here. I got cookies everywhere. This my need something sweet. Actually, I'm live right now. I got two cameras on. This is what they look like. I got me a little sampler plate. It's Friday. I had a little bit of a. It's Friday. I had a little bit of a slow. We had a little bit of a slow morning. Um, but uh, I am meeting my psychiatrist because she just got a spot. And she's gonna offer like a lot of cool stuff and things in here. Um, so I'm gonna help her decorate it, and that's where I'm about to go. Y'all, I was so on time for my nail appointment, and now I am a little bit late. But listen, right? So I wanted some Captain D's because I've been craving some fish, and I've been craving some because my girl let me bring my baby oh my god but i wanted some fish and some shrimp and i decided to stop at country ass captain d's and this shit take forever i will own time now it's my nail appointment time and i'm i want to eat because i want to take my drugs i don't want to wait too late but now like i'm gonna bring this piece of ass food in there and if y'all know if you know you know captain d's is pissy Wanna front with me and act like I ain't the same one who was there from the start, who was there to hold your heart. Why you wanna act so new, you wanna act so free, but I don't blame you, cause you got everything working now. So forget about me now. Matter much now. I'll move on somehow. String me on like you usually do. I don't mind. I'll get over it on my own. Yeah, I'll be fine. You love to play so fish.
light up, you know, even though they're like crying babies and stuff. I just literally stare at the moon all night. I've never flown at night when there was a full moon and I was just absolutely mesmerized. Like somebody please buy me a telescope. First stop is Roof Chris. That's what I want. That's what I've been craving. I love Roof Chris sweet potato casserole, y'all. If I could eat it every day, I would. I tried to make it. It was a fail. I can't make it. I'm not. Roof, the first name? Or the last name? Who the fuck is Roof's Chris? What is that? I need Roof to make it. I need Roof to put her foot in it. And that's, that's what I need. This is a little pickup order real quick. I don't know. I don't know if I told y'all, but we're in Chicago. <laughs> okay, now I think we about to go to um try a hot dog. Okay, so my date um actually picked these out and I just got the shower and they're laying right here for me to try them on to figure out which one I want to wear tomorrow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Good morning. I had to open up the blinds. It's like nine o'clock. Um, I got a lot to do today. Starting with going to this pancake house that I came to a couple of years ago out here that I cannot wait to go to again. The original pancake house. Oh my God. I'm about to get dressed and I'm about to go there right now. Then I got to go get some shampoo, conditioner, and then we got to hit Sephora because I need some things. Hey girl. Hey. Literally like, oh my gosh, I needed this so bad. Like I love just being able to come out and do me and like not have jacks and just not be a mom and not be just, just be me. You know what I'm saying? Just do me, I love that. I should have just went to the city, but I didn't want to drive, but I should have. Okay, now I gotta try to get out of this mall. Um, ooh, H&M Man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Um, this is me on the way to the date. I have to do my makeup in the car. Um, I got my whole little kit now here. No fear, no worry, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm a trust the process kind of girl, so here we are, trusting the process. Um, and I will pick this camera back up when I am fully transformed. I got like an hour. All done. All right, y'all, so I'm finna take y'all on my first date with me, like, really ever okay like this is my first real date i've ever been on and we went to a magic show um so when you walked in it looked like a laundromat and i thought it was so cool um but behind this um very heavy door 
my date was parking the car. There was like a whole lounge. Um, so we sat down. I went ahead and got me a lemon drop and some shrimp cocktail before things started. Um, so yeah. I like the magic show. The magic show was a vibe. Um, it was really, really cute. Um, I don't know if I like, you know what I'm saying, magic in general. Like, I feel like the lady thought she was better than me, like, or something. I just, I don't know. She put this jacket on with her thumbs tied together, right? So then they lift the thing back up. And then she got a jacket on the front where the thumb's still tied up. And then now she got it on just the bottom of her arms. And then now she got it on one arm all with her thumb still tied up. Then she took the jacket off. She finally got the jacket off. Everybody's happy. Yay, you got the jacket off. Yay, right? She like, well, let me put the jacket back on, right? So jacket up there, she grabbed the jacket. You see, man is like, hooray. And then the bitch come back with a whole nother jacket on. Like, I just felt like it was just playing too much in my face. I didn't know if I liked that. So I got another shrimp cocktail. This one didn't last because it started to taste like dog. Um, so I stopped eating that, but I did finish this lemon drop. So yeah, Chicago was really, really cute. Like Chicago was very fun. I always enjoy the skyline in Chicago. Like definitely like one of the most beautiful. So, um, we had dinner at Maple and Ash and then, um, we violated the car and, uh, Y'all, Maple and Ash is just a vibe, like for real. They had this beautiful chandelier, and then um, you take an elevator up to the dining room, and it's a candlelit dinner, and um, the menus are leather, and they were just so nice. Um, so we ordered the Don't Give a Fuck, which is basically like they make the menu for you. And y'all, look at this place, like just a super vibe, okay? Um, they gave us like a drink, a martini on the house, and that was really good. Then they bought us out some sour cream and onion chips with some caviar in it. Um, yeah, then this came out, oh my gosh, like I was literally ready to cry. I was like low key mad at my date for even like setting me up like that, but um, it was very sweet. Um, so yeah, then they bought us out some oysters, some raw oysters and a shot or salty mm -hmm. and um, the seafood tower y'all the bomb like oh my god Apparently I love clams like I fucked them clams up terribly um, Then we got like this wedge salad. I really can't name everything because I honestly got really sleepy Towards the end, so I don't even know what half of this stuff is like I'm just gonna be real with you Okay, I don't know what he doing with that you know what I'm saying? I know this is like some type of bone marrow steak. Um, that was good. The bone marrow actually tastes like like stuffing or like dressing. Um, this pasta was like perfectly cooked al dente. Everything looks so good. The asparagus was the bomb. Like all the food was so good, but honestly, it was just too much. And by this time, I had got sleepy. Okay, so I asked my date, go ahead, tell them to, you know what I'm saying, wrap it up. They packaged everything up for us, you know. I looked at the bill just to be nosy. We were leaving, but this is an entrance. Like, it was just a really, really cute vibe. Like, really cute for a date. Alright, y'all. That was the end of a beautiful night. A beautiful night. Um, I'm ready to go back to the room. My makeup sat flawlessly, okay? Whoever recommended Fenty Skin Tint to me, thank you. I use this brow gel that Aaliyah recommended. Love that, like, I love my makeup tonight. I love my dress too. All right, I'm kind of drunk. My feet kind of hurt, but at least I look cute. Alright y'all, that was the longest two hour flight of my life, but we made it to Houston, me and Jackson's new home, oh my god. Say why you wanna front with me, and act like I ain't the same one who was there from the start, who was there to hold your heart, why? You wanna act so new, you wanna act so free, but I don't blame you.
Cause you got everything working now So forget about me now I don't matter much now Strike me on like you usually do I don't mind I'll get over it on my own Yeah, I'll be fine You love to Holy shit Where my new apartment? And I have flowers So for some reason Uber keeps canceling my ride So um, I'm gonna go towards school <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to school for my baby. Um, sorry, Jackson thinks he's an elephant. <laughs> okay, so I actually stopped recording right here, so I'm gonna just like tell y'all what happened the rest of the way. Um, mind you, I signed this lease before I saw the apartment because I already had the Chicago date in place and the time that it came back on the market, I just went ahead and just grabbed it, you know what I'm saying? So I get there, the moving process is like super smooth. When I first walk into the apartment, first thing I see is that big ass Salvation Army sign and I'm like, I don't know about this. This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, the apartment's beautiful. Like the apartment's absolutely gorgeous. Like literally my dream apartment aesthetics wise. When I was ready to go, I tried to call an Uber. I tried to call like four Ubers actually. And all of them kept canceling for some reason. I'm just like, damn, like why my Ubers keep canceling? I was like, all right, I'm just gonna walk like literally four or five minutes up the street and toward this school that I was looking at for Jax. And so as I'm walking, I'm noticing like, you know, the sidewalks and stuff. What in the damn fuck? happened to these guys. I ain't never seen no goddamn sidewalks look like this. I ain't never seen this before. What happened? Like, how did this happen? Like, I never seen no sidewalks look chewed up like that ever in my life before. Like, I love the school. The school was so <laughs> nice. The school blew my... The school blew my mind. Like, that was perfect. But after I had walked down the street, I was just like, damn, like, God definitely made me miss those Uber so I can walk down the street and I can see that like just this is just not my vibe. Apartment is is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, um I gotta renege. It's not my vibe. <laughs> it's not my vibe. Okay, so then after that, what happened? Okay, so then after that, right, that night my flight was in the morning. Oh, so I thought. And then I tried to find it and I realized I ain't had one. So I'm like, dang, my flight I booked. So I literally had to book my flight last minute and I got stuck with a middle seat. And then I got to TSA and I put my boots inside of the bin and then the TSA dude took them out. And I was so mad because when I got my boots back, they had this big black ugly scuff mark on them and I was pissed off. Um, but that is why not having TSA pre-check is the ghetto. Then um, I get on the flight and I get stuck with a middle seat and my seat doesn't recline. And so I'm on this like two hour, 30 minute flight sitting up right the entire time. Like I was really sad. And then um, I got a layover. And so I go to use the bathroom and my freaking headphone falls out while I'm using the bathroom because I got on a one piece. For some reason, it just fell out, hit the floor, like right beside the toilet. Like it was disgusting. And then um, what happened after that? I go to Chick-fil-A and I got me a large sweet tea and I was like five steps away from my seat and I spilled the sweet tea all over my jacket. I was having a really bad day. <laughs> like I was really over it. Um, then I got to the airport and lost my car. So that was also fun. Um, it just was given Friday the 13th for me that day. That was actually the longest I've been away from Jax for a long time. So I was really excited to go get my baby. <laughs> so that made my day better but yeah i think i just took sunday and reset and now we are here on monday so yeah <laughs> i hope y'all enjoy this vlog and um i enjoyed this vlog i enjoyed the fuck out this vlog um and i'll see y'all in my next one Thank you.